AITA for neutering a cat that was clearly owned? I run a TNR program for feral cats. Non-profit. I catch all cats and get them the medical attention they need myself. Out of my own pocket. I love helping them. A lot of the cats are not able to be rehomed. So I fix them and release them. Get them their shots and hope for the best I am not a large-scale operation. Recently I was called to an area overrun with orange cats. They were everywhere and I mostly ended up handing it over to professionals. I did, however, manage to grab three very sweet cats. Two were terrified, skinny, a little beaten up, but overall friendly. The third one was a little gent. He was tubby, well-groomed, fish-patterned collar. The works. My plan was to find his parents and drop him off with a warning to keep him in due to the large amount of traps being set. Then the little bastard sprayed the inside of my car to the freaking max. So, apparently, he wasn't fixed. I couldn't really tell. Long hair. And assumed he was so left my covers off. Big mistake. I debated taking him home or taking him to get neutered with the rest he was an indoor-outdoor cat indicated by his collar tag and with so many strays i'm certain some were carrying his genetics ultimately i took him with me and got him neutered no chips i called the number on his tag and informed them where their cat was and gave them time slots to pick him up or have him dropped off the owners went ballistic they were cursing me out and came to collect their cat not 20 minutes later called me a kidnapper blamed me for their child having nightmares scared over their cat going missing i tried to explain that he needed to be fixed if he was going to be outside but they didn't want to no they said i should have called immediately regardless i spoke to my rescue friend who said i was in the wrong even though we know we are technically in the right we didn't have the legal ground to do that and it wasn't my decision to make i did apologize but have blocked their numbers. The mom is flaming me on Facebook and demeaning people I know. I have a duty to care for stray cats. Me knowing an unnettered male was roaming free and not doing anything about it was a concern for. Said stray cats. Things are still tense between my rescue buddy and I and I don't completely disagree. I know I crossed a line even if it was for the greater good. People are finding out and taking sides. So I'm not sure who to really believe was right here. So, AITA? Esh. The owners for letting an intact pet outside unsupervised to breed. And you for having a surgical medical procedure done to an animal. That you knew had owners. Without the owner's consent. Regardless of the morality of allowing pets to contribute to the stray population. For which the owner is an A.H. Making medical decisions for someone else's pet makes you a massive A.H. Everyone sucks. Edit. Spelling. S. You should have taken the cat back when you knew it had an owner and it ultimately wasn't your decision to have him neutered. But they should have had their cat neutered and not let it outside in an area with feral strays. As someone who also works in cat rescue I do find their ranting about the fear of the possibility of the cat not coming back for one night a bit rich. Given all the other awful things that can happen to indoor-outdoor cats outside in North America, I do know in the UK this practice is less risky and more common. That fear about their cat not coming back for one night probably won't change their behavior and they will keep letting him out. Info. How long was it between trapping the cat and taking it to the vet? Since the owners had time to notice he was missing? Why did you not call the number on the tag before making an irreversible decision about someone else's pet? Info. You said. The third one was a little gent. He was tubby. Well-groomed. Fish-patterned collar. The works. My plan was to find his parents and drop him off with a warning to keep him in due to the large amount of traps being set. 
Then the little bastard sprayed the inside of my car to the freaking max. This really makes it sound like you changed your mind out of spite. Can you be absolutely sure you didn't? Like you're not right but personally I think NTA. I agree with what you did. Pets shouldn't be outdoor animals and he was creating more cats and adding to the problem. They were irresponsible. You corrected an issue. In top EC op says this Tom is out making kittens. Meaning he didn't escape one day by accident. His owners are letting him out. Intact. And not taking care of the kittens he is fathering. They are contributing to the stray cat problem. NTA. If the cat is on the prowl the owners should be responsible enough to neuter it. You've done the community a service and should be proud of yourself. Owners with outside cats are annoying AF and don't realize their cats piss all over other neighbors. Stuff and fight other cats in the neighborhood at night. NTA. They are irresponsible pet owners and are endangering the community by having an unnettered male. Cat about. It's unethical and should be illegal. YTA. You did kidnap their cat and made a superbly arrogant decision to have him neutered without the owner's permission. You can judge them all you want for letting their cat outside. But the first thing to have done was to call the cat's people and asked, Hey, I found your cat. Did you know he was outside? That's the basic due diligence. Right there. Translated. What decent people who are not assholes regularly do. How a vet decided to neuter the cat means you must have taken off the collar and obscured the owner's information, or they would not have done it without their permission. You just made yourself hella actionable. Legally, you don't know if they were planning to breed the cat and he just happened to get out. The cat's owners suck. They let an intact male cat wander and continue populating an overrun cat population. Perhaps you do genetic testing on all the other orange tabbies and drop them off at their house too. After all, those cats are family as well. Free roaming cat equals feral cat. NTA, thank you for your service. NTA, why even tell the owners Big Red got the snip snip? If they weren't planning to breed him they never would have noticed. What with his long hair and their general negligence. He'll live longer but it won't t stop him from spraying. YTA for the sole reason that you had a clearly owned cat go through a surgical procedure without the owner's consent. Yes I agree cats should be neutered. But even small surgeries have their risks and I'd love to know what you would have told that family. If the cat had come out with issues or worse. Died during it. Hey I got your cat fixed without asking first and something went wrong so I am calling to let you. No he passed. Is it likely to happen? No. But it's a possibility that you didn't even take into consideration and that's a huge asshole move. Also keeping the cat for an entire day without calling them to let them know it's okay. Not cool. YTA it is a medical procedure. You had no right to make that call. What if there was some crazy complication? I would really lose my mind if someone took my cat in for a procedure without my permission. YTA. You knew how to get a hold of the owners from the first moment you grabbed the cat. You kidnapped him and had irreversible surgery done on him. Yes. I know the owners were irresponsible about letting their intact cat out. But you could have educated them when you contacted them about their cat you picked up. But there is no law against what they did. Against what you did. Yes. You risked your entire TNR program over this. NTA the owners had to be completely ignorant to allow an intact male cat to free roam. They should feel lucky to have him returned without the burden of having to pay for the medical procedure. The community shouldn't have to clean up after them. When we lived in a city we kept having to rescue young pregnant cats that just showed up on our doorstep. 
When the shelters were full we had a mom plus four kittens we were fostering, then had the responsibility of rehoming. It was expensive and we had two fixed indoor cats of our own. We never knew if these cats that showed up had homes. We just knew no responsible owner would do this and would pick them up and did what was right. Letting your cat outside is irresponsible. They destroy songs birds for fun which are federally protected. Letting them outside to be adding to the overpopulation issue is gross. Who cares about property rights? If you put your furniture on the curb people assume it's free and it's no longer yours. Anyone saying otherwise has never seen all the injured animals that get brought into wildlife. Rescues due to cats. Or how many cats end up needing to be rescued due to owner negligence. That woman is 100% ta. Keep doing the good work. Then the little bastard sprayed the inside of my car to the freaking max. So, apparently, he wasn't fixed. I call BS. I had a roommate with a neutered male cat. I had a neutered male cat. They sprayed like crazy. Neutered male cats will spray. It's a territorial thing. It has absolutely nothing to do with whether the animal is neutered. I have the $800 bill to re-carpet that apartment to prove it. After that fiasco, that same cat and I moved in with another friend with another neutered male cat. I lost an oak bookcase and numerous treasured books to spraying. ETAsh. You had no right to neuter a known owned cat. They had no expectation that letting their cat outside wasn't going to get their cat trapped. I feel like this should be something pet owners can sue you for. As much as I support what you do, and would have at least been tempted to do if I was in your shoes. YTA. Unfortunately, you can't force anyone to do the right thing and keep pets responsibly. I'd recommend giving their information to your local SPCA. Though, if they admit to allowing their intact male outdoors to breed, which is likely based on most of the local cats looking suspiciously like him, the SPCA might be able to hold them accountable for any costs or issues arising from their cat and his progeny, doubtful, but it's worth a shot. YTA. It had a collar. You knew it wasn't a stray. Yet you took it, and made a medical decision for a cat that wasn't yours before calling its actual owners. And now you're mad they're not so very happy at your wonderful actions of neutering cats. It was their cat, not yours. Not your cat to make decisions about. Many people own outdoor cats. Not every outdoor cat is a stray. Yet you choose to take someone's cat and act self-righteous. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.